Hello, Barbary Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Barbary Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, we need to submerge ourselves into these YouTube streets because people are being shady. Okay, now we have Ethan Klein becoming super shady, dragging, slamming, and doing all kind of shit against none other than Rich Lux. And I think we definitely need to talk about this mess. Okay, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And now let's talk about this mess. Hey, yo, Mio. No. My friend, my son, and my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, I mean, this whole uh, drama that happened at the Ace Fest, it got all the YouTube streets like popping, okay? Everyone was talking about it. The Ace Fest was basically a mess, you know? It was a scam. People were not happy. People literally who are uh, Ace Family's fans were not happy inside, okay? They don't think that they get what they deserve. Uh, they don't feel that, you know, their money was well spent going there. Uh, they feel that they were scammed, many of them. Uh, everything changed last minute. Um, they were supposed to be there till 10 p.m. They left at 8 p.m. Uh, initially, they were offering like wildlife, you know, exhibitions and like a live performances. And then out of nowhere, they just took everything. I mean, girl, it was a mess. If you want to know what went down in there, go and watch my last video on uh, my YouTube drama playlist, you know, because people were not happy now. When it comes to YouTubers, apparently the Ace Family had some like blacklist, you know. Uh, even though many, you know, cre content creators were able to get inside, for some reason they really, really had an eye on Rich Lux. Okay, now yes, we know they have Rich Lux has been doing some videos, let's say you know, exposing them right um but i don't think whatever like rich has been saying before it's like it was so out there okay it was literally about the same things that any other uh youtube drama channel has been saying out there you know they, I, there is something there is something in there th that this ace family had against him because the security came after him very fast you know and they were very aggressive i don't know i mean also if you if you watch my last video you will see the clip that rich lux actually posted uh when he was being thrown away from uh the the ace fest you know these people the security people or whoever these guys were were incredibly rude you know they were like calling them names they were being nasty towards them uh, i mean what else can we expect to be honest i mean girl right but anyways they were being very mean and that was pretty much it now out of nowhere today we have ethan klein and his, what is that, like an assistant or something, Dan, um, talking all this shit, attacking, instead of attacking the Ace family for scamming people, they were literally attacking Rich Lux on the H3 podcast, okay? Now, I have a little clip of what everything went down and like what they were really talking about, so I want you to hear it instead of like me telling you everything, okay? So take a look at this. Uh, apparently they don't want the press there because, uh, you know, commentary channels. So we got turned away. So I wonder what it is you're hiding. I mean, if there, if it was a solid are event. They, are they press? Are they, are they press? Do you refer to himself as yeah, press? Yeah, he said Rich they don't Lux. want press there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Rich Lux. <laughs> Sorry. Rich, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I, if I would. 
the guy who uh, the guy who crash. spent four weeks making videos about a video that he misunderstood about us. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's the one that, that reported that you. Yeah. We're making fun of. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. Wait, 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 wait. He was reporting that you made fun of who made... clips. Lips? Of no one because oh, he didn't. Oh, ob he obviously caller, didn't watch the, the video. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Rick's Lux is famous for literally making shit up in his headlines. Yeah. This isn't a fuck Rick's Rich Lux video, by the way. No. I just laughing that you that's, called himself press. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> he, I saw you posted a video recently where he was like, um, <laughs> Ethan Klein is suing Trisha Paytas, or something. No, no, like Trisha that. is suing oh, Trisha you. Oh, Trisha is suing me. Yeah, just like a week ago. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, because he had some fucking random. Some nobody person pretending lying. to be a a, a, a lawyer or oh, a clerk. Uh, but I was like, dude, you rich just, poor. Yeah, I don't know if uh, press. Poor, poor Lux. Poor it. Lux. If it... Reach Lux, nice. I like that. <laughs> Rich Lux. Reach Lux. That's funny. So Rich I, sucks. And, and, and you know what, Ricks? Uh, you know, the, reach the house, whatever. I love that thing, the house. It's cool, but you do reach. That's all I'm saying. And you did do my boy dirty. So, I mean, yeah, I mean look, boy, guys. Yeah. I don't understand why they have to be so nasty on this YouTube street, honestly. Now, we know that this guy, Dan, has, like, this kind of beef with uh, Rich Lux because, you know, Rich Lux basically call him out on his, let's say, LGBTQ opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, it's still... There is no, like, you can have beef with someone and not really be that nasty, you know? Why using that kind of word? I mean, this guy, it's literally saying, like, fuck this guy, you know, and this guy is this, and, like, oh, how can he uh, call himself press or whatever? Bitch, we are press, okay? Like, they are press, everyone is press. Everyone who is having an opinion on whatever is going on, on the news, the entertainment business, the music business, whatever, everything on the, who is having an opinion and putting it out there for other people to watch and entertain themselves, yes, I do consider the blogs, the tabloids, the YouTube drama channels, like all of us, we are press because we are bringing awareness of what is going on, okay? Now, let's also remember that Rich is not like he was trying to get in there like for free he literally bought tickets he literally flew from houston to la then drive two hours to lancaster you know to get inside so he was a paying customer okay second of all if they don't want to anyone pe ugh, if they don't want people to be having an opinion then move to another country because we have something here that is called freedom of speech okay same thing that they do is the same thing that rich do that i do that everyone does right so that should not be a reason to not only uh <laughs> like refuse the entry to a paying customer but also to be mean and to attack other person now to be honest i mean i feel like ethan was trying to be a little bit more um neutral you know he didn't really say like anything bad bad against rich but then the other guy i mean he was going at it he definitely have some beef and i found it actually kind of like unprofessional to be putting your opinions that way on such a big platform like their podcast you know it's just literally bringing hate to the world okay um ethan was a little bit more switzerland you know he was being more like like i understand your point of view i understand this and he he, he didn't want to get too much into the mess although you know he's kind of like guilty by association but yeah, I don't I don't think it's it's okay to attack him like that. No matter what your opinion is on other people, you can have an opinion and still saying it na uh, nicely, you know, and don't become that. So anyways, that's it. That's the tea, guys. Uh, let me know what you think on the comment below. Are you team Rich Locks? Are you team Ethan Klein? Are you team... Uh, well, uh, actually, it's not Ethan Klein. Are you team this other guy or are you team uh, Rich Locks? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.